Hi, I'm Shane from IamImpact.com and this is my shockingly honest review of Authority Pro 2, a WordPress theme that is meant to help you create sales pages and squeeze pages and such things. With this, I am not even sure where to start. Let me show you how to use it. The first thing we need to do is upload the theme and then activate the theme. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now when the theme is activated, nothing works yet. We still have to do more stuff. The first thing you have to do is you have to upload two different plugins. And one of them is the Authority Pro Engine. The other is the AP Launcher. So I select these two and I activate them. And while that's happening, just as a side note, if you do this in the wrong order, if you activate the plugin before you activate the theme, the whole site breaks and you have to go and delete the plugin manually via FTP. So with that done, this here now works. And then if I go to the theme options, there are, you can see here, there are theme options here, but this is because I already installed it previously. Usually this is empty and nothing works and what you have to do is you have to go to import and you have to upload a file that also comes with the theme and then import the xml of that file and then this thing is ready to use so you know this is already mind-boggling because every other theme and plugin that i've tested like this you just upload one thing and it's done right that's the way that, i mean that's how you'd expect it to be there's no reason there's no technical reason why a theme like this should be split up into three different components and one external file. It makes absolutely no sense. It's just an inconvenience. Now you'll also notice that everything looks weird here. We have like overlapping stuff happening here. That's because Authority Pro creates this top menu and it conflicts with the WordPress admin bar. The admin bar has been in WordPress for how long now? It must have been months maybe a year or more it's been there for a long time and they couldn't be bothered to update their thing so that it doesn't break the style here with the admin bar in there so good stuff all right with that said okay so you have your settings you can go into your settings and change various things there's some seo settings in there and there's generally just long lists of settings you can have different opt-in forms you can create here but you can also create those separately uh, you have various theme options, so you can have various different colors or uh, images as your background. It's the usual stuff that we're used to. You can make your changes here with color pickers and all of that kind of thing. Like many other themes like this, it basically presents you with a very long list of options. It's not always exactly clear what these options do and it's blind editing. You change stuff here and you have to go and reload pages on the front end to see what actually happens. When that's done, you can create squeeze pages and sales pages. And let's have a look at one of these sales pages, what this looks like. And this, as you can see, is all kinds of wrong. Uh, this is what the home page actually looks like of the blog, which is also unique to Authority Pro 2, is that you install the theme and your blog or your website will just look like this it will be weird and broken and unusable and i'm sure you can go through various options to make this look like a normal website again but why would i want to do that why would i want to do that if every other theme if optimize press and instabuilder and all those other themes i can just install them and they just work so this again it's just kind of broken and i don't know why and it's annoying but as you saw, it didn't actually load that sales page. And the reason is that at first I have to go back into the settings and into the permalinks. And I'm not sure if I just have to load this page or save the changes, but somehow it has to reload this stuff here before this can work. So let's try that again. Now we have our sales page. Let me just reload this page. Here's another nice thing about it. Do you see that? This is how the page loads, right? Blank page, switch, switch. And there's this weird breadcrumb thing at the top. This is not how a page is supposed to load. What is this about? And this is not catastrophic. This is not a catastrophic mistake, but it just makes your site look like it was built by an amateur. And it, it shows that somehow there wasn't much care taken in creating this theme. All right, so here's the sales page. So let's look at this, this usual dummy sales page like I always create. As you'll note, there are various boxes and items and elements that you can add to your page. That's all very nice. Uh, some of them are well-designed, many of them aren't. Uh, for example, I think these testimonial boxes, well, they're kind of okay. These bullet points are a bit ugly. 
some of the boxes, you have styling options for the boxes that are okay. You know, some of the design is okay, some of it isn't. Looking at the actual page editor, you can see again, the whole thing is just kind of broken. For some reason, they changed some of the styles in the WordPress interface. It doesn't make it look better. It makes this option menu longer than it would be usually. It's another one of these options menus where when you want to change something, you have to scroll down and try to figure out, is it in here? Is it in here? You have to go and look through these options to try and find what you're looking for. It's not very user-friendly, it's not very intuitive or anything like that. The editing here, the editing options also aren't that great. So I have my short codes here where that brings up this menu and then I select from all these short codes here. And let's say I want to have a custom post box. Then I get another list of options here. I have templates that are just numbered. I have no idea what these templates are. So, okay, I'll choose this. Then I have all this other stuff I'll choose this, I'll say insert that I have this thing here and it ends up looking like something or other on this uh, on this page. But again, it's completely blind editing. I just have all this stuff here and I have to reload this page to see what actually happens. So this is the box I just inserted. If we actually inspect this element real quick, we can see also that the styling is basically done with inline HTML. So for every box you add, there's going to be inline HTML that tells the browser how to render this box. The way it should be done is that it, there should be an external CSS file and this should be done with IDs and classes. So it's just not quite the right way to do it either on a technical side. Then let me also show you a squeeze page. And this is, this is just basically comically bad. If we look at the squeeze page, this is just a randomly created squeeze page. This is what it actually looks like. And I'm not joking. I didn't try and make a squeeze page that looks terrible. This is what actually happened. This was my first attempt at creating a squeeze page. So as you can see here, this uh, graphic at the top is somehow misaligned. I have no idea why. Uh, we have the kind of ugly bullet points over here. We have a broken image here. And it turns out that if I go into my squeeze page editor, I, at least I think this is the reason, is that one of the squeeze page options is that, uh, let me see, where is it? There's an image, sidebar opt-in image, right? If you choose not to select a, a sidebar opt-in image, you get this broken image here. It doesn't just not display anything. So apparently you have to select something. You have to upload or select something. So let's go with arrows or something like that. All right. And if I update it now, then at least that will be gone. And uh, as, as you can see, the, the button here is too big for the background and it's not transparent. Uh, and the background color doesn't match the background color of the opt-in form. Now, this is a standard opt-in form. I didn't change the background color. That's the thing, right? I didn't change the background color. It's a standard opt-in form with a standard button on top. Why do they not fit together at all? And the only thing I did do, by the way, I do want to point that out. I did write this, we will spam you promise text uh, because I was in a bad mood. But that's, that's the only thing that I made to make the page look even worse. Now let's reload it and see if these arrows at least work. And they do. That's actually, I'm actually amazed that this is not also broken. It's, it is stupid though, because now we have too many arrows. But anyway, this is, so this is what happens now. This can be fixed. You know, I can go in here and I can find a, a button graphic that will fit. It will still have the wrong background color. I can probably find a better image and so on. You know, this can be fixed. And, and even this, I have no idea if this is somewhere in the settings, but I'm sure this can be fixed. But the point is with Optimize Press or Instabilder or Profits theme, you get a theme that you can install and you can say, okay, create squeeze page and it just instantly looks good. And here it instantly looks terrible and you have to go and try and fix it. So I could go on. I could go on about how bad Authority Pro 2 is. It is in fact one of the worst products I've seen in recent memory. I mean, everything, everything from the way it breaks the style in the admin menu to the convoluted options menus to all sorts of weird stuff it does to your website. This is just a terrible, terrible theme. Usually at this point, I would talk about three things I like about the theme. In this case, I just do not like anything about this theme. Authority Pro 2 is terrible. And the same thing goes for, I usually list three things I don't like. I don't like anything about Authority Pro. It's absolutely 
terrible. And if it does have any merits, they are just drowned in a sea of bugs and bad programming. As you can probably guess, my verdict is that you should not buy Authority Pro 2. In fact, you shouldn't even take it for free or in exchange for money. It's simply terrible and you should stay away from it as far as you can. So much for Authority Pro 2. The question is which one of these sales page or squeeze page or marketing themes is actually the best one and to find out check out the link below this video it takes you to my review my roundup review on imimpact.com where i compare optimized press and insta builder and flex squeeze and many many other themes like that and you can find out which one is actually good and which ones are terrible and that's it for this review thank you for watching i'm shane melach from imimpact.com and we'll see you soon